Hey guys, in this video, we're going to be looking at multiplying two digit numbers again, but this time with associative property. Um, I'll tell you what, I'm still going to show you the old school method. Uh, just as a quick little reminder here, so we're going to look at uh, 14 times 9, for example, all right? So the old school method, what we've got, we've got 14 times 9. Uh, by the way, this method I'm going to go pretty quickly because I have covered this in the previous video in this um, series. Um, just look it up and you'll find it, otherwise it should be in the playlist somewhere. Um, anyway, 14 times 9, uh, what do we got? 9 times 4 is going to be 36. So we're going to end up chucking our 6 and 3 at the top there in the tens column. So we've got 9 times 1, which is 9, and then 9 plus 3 is 12. All right, so that's 126 right there. Okay, so how do we do this with associative property? Now, just to kind of recap uh, the distributive property, what you would have done is this. This is what you would have done with... I should have actually put this. So with distributive, what you would have done is 14 times 9 could be written as 10 times 9 plus 4 times 9. So you've got 90 plus 36, which is going to equal to 126. Now with associative, what you could potentially do is you can kind of split this up further. So you could actually do it like this. So 14 could be written as 2 times 7 times 9. Um, so if you guys notice, what I've done is I've taken this 14 and I've actually split it up as 2 times 7. And because it's the same, you know, there's nothing really different with it. And the reason I did this was because I know my uh, 9 times 7, I know from the times table what it is. So that's what I'm going to do here. Because I know that 9 times 7 is actually 63. So then I can rewrite this as 2 times 63. And of course, 63 times 2... Uh, you know, like, guess what? You got to use that distributive property whether you like it or not. Even though you try to do associative, ah, that's just stink, but that's okay. Uh, so what do you got? 63 times 2, it is going to be 126. And if you were to do it by distributive, you probably would have done 60 times 2 plus 3 times 2. 60 times 2 is 120 plus 3 times 2 is 6. Now, very quickly, you might wonder, geez, how the hell is he doing it so fast with 60 times 2? Well, 60 times 2, well... Think about it like this. 6 times 2 is just 12. Um, therefore, 60 times 2 is going to be 120. So if you think about it like this, if I do something like uh, 400 times 3, um, again, shortcut that my teacher said back in the 80s, uh, 4 times 3 is 12, and just chuck those two zeros next to it, which means it's going to be 1,200. Cool. So that is just a really quick little video on associative property. But like, I mean, really, you kind of use that when you're trying to multiply numbers. I, I was, I'm trying to think like when I was using associative. I think most of the time I end up using distributive properties. Uh, it's just easier for me, I guess. But if you find the associative property easier, uh, then yeah, go for it. But again, it's just another uh, strategy for you that you can potentially use um, for multiplying numbers. But yeah, pretty much that's it for this short little video, guys. Um, as always, thank you for watching and catch you on the next one.